Hello everyone, Manthrall here and welcome to the weekly update video for RS3. Now this week we have Battle of the Monolith Part 3, I believe, coming. So I will be having the guide out here for that uh, either later tonight or tomorrow. Uh, but it should be a small little addition as you've seen in the first part. Uh, I think each edition so far has only added maybe 5-10 minutes each time. So it's not too bad overall. <clears throat> but we have some big news. We also have the RuneScape mobile launches on June 15th. So if we were to look here, that's next week. <laughs> so that's next week, guys. So if you haven't, uh, do get your pre-registrations in. Uh, because for everybody who registers and players alike, there's actually a little bit of a tier reward. And we up, we're closing in on tier 4. I believe there's like five or six tiers, so I mean, the more stuff we get, obviously the better. Who doesn't like free stuff? So do check that out. Go to your uh, Android or iOS uh, and to get that pre-registered and get ready for uh, RuneScape on pretty much almost all platforms pretty soon. I said almost. <laughs> Uh, but yes, the battle does continue on for the monolith. Uh, there is some requirements for this part, however. Uh, you will need 75 slayers, 74 archaeology, and 74 magic. Uh, but it does say you are going to need it for what's coming, so keep that in mind. Archaeology is certain to become a part of it now. And we have a little bit of a change here. Uh, the all-new Marketplace store is officially open for business. So this is a new store and it's a one-stop shop for everything you'll need for your ventures across Skillenor from the oddments and bonds to the latest cosmetics and emotes. It aims to, um, it basically it aims to bring everything in one place. Uh, so this way you don't have to worry about it anymore. Um, and also, it will run alongside uh, Solomon General well, Solomon's store for now, uh, but that will receive no more new items. Uh, it did say somewhere else that it is possible that this will Solomon's will go away after a while, and it'll just be the marketplace as a whole. It would be nice to see that just in game, but we'll see what happens with that. Uh, there is going to be extended downtime though on June 9th, so that is something to keep in mind. Um, it'll last roughly 6 hours on June 9th uh, for 7 a.m. game time, so keep that in mind. Uh, the reason why they're doing it is for maintenance, so <laughs> I mean, do you really want to question maintenance? Because uh, remember, we don't want any more login lockout issues, so that is why they are doing what they're doing. And June 9th is on a Wednesday, so do keep that in mind. It's going to be starting nice and early, so hopefully it won't affect any of you guys out there in your game time. However, this also gives you a good time that shortly after that there's going to be a live stream. But there's also a live stream on Tuesday, June 8th at 1600 game time in JMods vs. Monsters Part 2. So of course, as you know, uh, there's a new segment I have started. Uh, it's the TLDR live streams. So this section, I will say this: uh, those videos will come out as many live streams that are necessary, as long as it brings um, noteworthy information to you guys. If it's only one note of information, uh, I will probably just post it on Twitter or in the Discord. Um, if it is a very long, like the entire video is full of information that people might find useful, I would just strongly recommend going and watching the entire video. Because uh, you can go to Twitch and actually watch the thing in its entirety. That's why I actually didn't uh, post the video with TLDR on the one video, uh, because there was actually a lot of information because it was a Q&A. So there's a lot of information that some people might want to know. So I do recommend if you ever see something like that going on, check out their Twitch and just have it play. Uh, maybe in the background. And then you get to find out the full list. However, stuff like with the player uh, avatar concept uh, and what's to come with that. That was a perfect one for doing the TLDR video for you guys because I took all that information, consolidated it down to one. This way you guys got to see that without all the extra fluff. 
Uh, that's the main thing. Uh, but then Wednesday, June 9th at 1600 game time, you have tea time with Mod Bolton. So for this one, he is the head of influencer management to talk about his role and get the inside scoop of becoming a successful RuneScape creator. So if you're a RuneScape creator, do check that out. It'll be definitely worth it. Uh, and if that, since that is something that's kind of a broad spectrum, I would strongly recommend uh, checking that out. I might, I'll, I'll probably watch it myself. Uh, if there's enough information there, I will make a video. If there's too much information, like I said before, I will just direct you guys through Twitter or uh, through Discord to go and check it out because if it's all useful information, you should definitely give them the credit. <clears throat> uh, awesome art. So with this week's creations, were spotted in the lovely Steam community and they had to share it. Uh, it is actually fantastic drawings, artistry, of the famous siblings of Zerus and Saren. And then we have, oh, and that is by Agu Agulera. Sorry if I butchered that. And then we have a Marvel Studios Avengers RS. That's why I did that little stutter there. Uh, but they have little different versions of uh, the Avengers with an RS theme to them. They actually have a shield they could have used for that. So, naughty naughty. There is a shield they could have used for them, but they might not have had it. Uh, but that is by, well, it's titled Clanny's Assemble. And is by Spice with a capital Y. A screenshot of the week it was actually a pretty good one. This is more of a GIF, but it is pretty good. Uh, so it's supposed to be the Mighty God of Thunder Zeus up on the mountains there by Dawn. That is pretty cool. Also, we have the Pink Skirts event. It's the Mega Duck Hunt. Uh, join Nancy, Nasty Fruit, and Ascensus this Saturday, June 12th, from 1600 to 1700. At the Warforge on 130 World 134, so do check that out. And the community shout out is are so it's all about wacky costumes and stuff like that. Uh, then Fashion Escape is the shout out, and it is something for you to check that out. Uh, do check it out too. Uh, you can join in on the fun. It's called Discord.gg forward slash tfbxe22. There's also a link right here for you guys to go use. And you know what? I'll even do you one better. I'll actually include that in the description below so you guys can go ahead and check that out. Otherwise, we have some patch notes here. So we have fixes up first, uh, typo for, uh, typo fix for Blade of Seldor. Uh, fix an issue where the individual Seren Crystal armor pieces were showing twice in the wardrobe and the dark crystal pieces were not being shown at all. Uh, when starting Yak to the Light, your progress through Yak to the Basics is now correctly displayed. Previously, when players tried to purchase the Premier Pass or Yak Track Skips from the Yak to the Light interface, they were given a message of this package is unavailable. This has now been fixed. Mobile improvements are the mobile controls interface has been updated to use the new icons. And mobile beta. The black hole experience section of the gal request has been improved. The puzzle can now be solved by searching the correct place with the required item in your backpack. This removes the need to use an object from the backpack on a place that is obscured by the UI. Now keep in mind, nobody can currently use mobile, but these are still going to be fixes nonetheless for when it does go live. Other improvements are on the achievement interface, if the prerequisites of foreign achievement are not met by the achievement is complete, for example, by boosting stat prerequisites, the achievement will display as complete instead of locked. Some gaps have been uh, stitched up in the Scarlet Thief's outfit and on the feminine characters. Fixes, action bars now update correctly when clearing slots or switching them. The empty tile now appears correctly on the slider puzzle boxes. Quick prayers slash curses fix an issue that prevents the selected highlighted uh, from disappearing when deselecting a quick prayer. Uh, pulse cores fix an issue that prevents X graphic from disappearing when deselecting a skill. Fix a typo where Anachronia was in lowercase under the achievement description for being there, done that, got the postcard. The Endurance Move prerequisite for the Sunshade achievement now correctly shows 25 floors where it was previously 14. 
fix an issue that misaligned text in the settings interface, the red Cerberus armor tokens that are now displayed on the Cerberus Rush info screen, and the treasure hunter will now correctly show the red token variant uh, when hovered over. Uh, fix issue where the ceremonial sword tutorial Sten is now in the right place during the animation and the respect percentage box no longer disappears after exiting or completing the tutorial. Uh, the achievement 61 Shades of Red is now marked as complete once the Demonheim Slayer log has been completed. Uh, this will also unlock the title Blood Rager. Uh, you can no longer wear a Gobi mask in the underwater disguise at the same time. Quest journal objectives for one piercing note are no longer highlighted after completing the quest. You can now receive coins after using alchemy when your bard power is set to high alchemy and the alchemist amulet is in the backpack. Elves in the Arandor Passage now take damage from Blade and Dive and also respond with an attack. Uh, Grizzly Bear death animations have been fixed. A wall near Varrock Palace has been corrected collision. Uh, resolved an issue with the legacy interface mode that was causing the additional action bar to be hidden if the chat was also hidden. Fix an issue with the animation for planting flag rest override, and blackstone arrows are no longer consumed while using abilities on a target that is already at the maximum debuff. So that is actually it for this week guys, do check out the guide later on, I will be posting that eventually, uh, either tonight or tomorrow. So. Thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time, later guys.